Easy, girl. Easy. Easy, girl. Easy. Easy. Have you ever felt like you had to keep your legs wide off your horse because if something were to touch him, you don't know what would happen. That horse might break into. That is not a fun feeling to ride a horse like that. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your horse to understand your leg pressure, how to get comfortable with it. Let's jump into it. Hey guys, just want to let you know that I love doing these Q&As from our Patreon members and answering your specific questions that you have with your horse. If you guys would like to ask me a question um, that's about you and your horse, I'd love to help you with it. Join my Patreon page. There's a link in the description below and we'll make sure those questions get answered. So in this uh, video, we had a question from one of our Patreon members named Dale and said his horse is reactive to his leg cues and uh, what can he do to help get his horse more comfortable with that pressure? So we're gonna take two approaches to this. So there's a proactive approach and a reactive approach. And this is true with a lot of things with horses. So the proactive approach is I'm gonna put my leg on and I'm not gonna wait for her to react to it. I'm gonna put my leg on and try to teach her what leg pressure means. And then the reactive approach is like, you're riding your horse and they get goosey off your leg. What, what do you do from there? So two different approaches. So the first one, um, a lot of people have a habit of, they put their leg on to move their horse over. So I put my leg on here and if that horse steps forward, they go, they release, they go, oh, I didn't want that. And then they pick up their reins and they go, I wanted you to turn over here. But the problem is, what did that horse just learn? If you put your leg on and they walked forward and you, you wanted that leg pressure to mean turn, the horse just understood leg on means go forward, okay? Now we want our horse to understand legs on means go forward, but if I put one leg on at a time, I want them to move their body and yield leg positions one, two, three. So one is up here by the front cinch, two is right here where your leg hangs, then three would be just back here sliding your leg slightly forward. The more advanced the horse is, the more refined those cues are. Um, and so the way we're gonna do that is, I'm gonna give my horse a loose rein. I'm gonna make sure they're warmed up and in a good learning frame of mind. I'm gonna pick a leg position. So let's say, um, let's do leg position two. So this would mean side pass right now, okay? So I'm gonna apply my leg here, and I'm gonna kinda cause her to make a mistake. So let's say she goes forward. I'm not gonna freak out and go, oh my gosh, she didn't do it right. I'm gonna pick her up with the reins, and I'm gonna keep my leg on until she steps over quietly, and then I'll take the pressure away. So you have to be very careful. Don't release the pressure because they did the wrong answer. You think about it as letting your horse explore. What does that mean? So the other you know, thing that people could do there is just pick that horse up right away with their reins. So instead of doing what I just did, they would go like this. Pick them up with the reins. Don't give them a chance to go forward. Now put the leg on, and great, the horse went sideways. You could do that. And some horses that might work just fine, but there's a lot of horses that if you didn't pick them up with the reins, if you give them a loose rein and you put your leg on, their first response would not be to just step over off your leg like what she's doing. Their response would be to go forward. So you gotta allow that horse to make a mistake. That's how they learn. I'm really big on the idea of the principle of do less first, okay? Do less first means put your reins down. Don't manage the horse immediately and pick them up. So, Again, you're gonna put your leg on. If that horse walks forward, you're gonna let him explore that and then she's gonna run into a little pressure with the bit. My leg is gonna stay on until I feel her step over laterally and then the pressure goes away. So again, this would be for how you set up leg position two, okay? So now let's look at leg position one. So leg position one is gonna be sliding my leg forward here. So again, I'm gonna put my leg on. This would mean she should step around to the left. If she walks forward right there, then you're gonna pick her up with the reins, hold your leg on. When she finally steps around, then I'm gonna release everything, okay? Then I'll try it again. Put my leg on, and there we go. Her stepping around to the left off of just that leg. So for me, this is like power steering. I want my horse to be able to understand um, what that leg position means and not have to manage it with the reins. That tells me I have some depth of understanding there. If I always have to use the reins to manage them in that scenario, then the level of understanding of the, le the horse with leg cues, leg pressure, would probably be a little bit more superficial, okay? Then the same thing would be true for leg position three. So if I put my leg back here, I want the horse to just, just pivot around that front foot. Now there she walked off a little bit again. So I'll pick her up, hold, and then release. And I'm waiting for her to just step around there. Very good. Now, I will adjust my weight a little bit. So it's like if I want her to put her weight here, 
my weight's gonna sit back. If I want her to move her hind end, my weight will tip forward. So that's a little bit of a, what I would call a prep step, a little bit of a preparatory cue. So before the leg came on, I did adjust my seat a little bit so she could kind of know what's coming, okay? So that would be the um, proactive step. So these are things I'm gonna do during a ride before a horse gets reacted to my leg. But let's say, um, you know, you're riding your horse and man, you just feel like, what we, you know, that intro that we had where you just gotta keep your legs off that horse. That's not a good feeling. You know, you don't want a horse to be that worried about your leg. So what I'm gonna do with that horse is when, when they're calm and standing still already before I've really gotten into a whole lot, I'm just gonna put my legs on and squeeze them and I'm gonna teach them that that means something else. So in this case, she thought that meant go forward, which normally it does. But in this case today, I'm gonna squeeze her and I'm gonna pick her up with the reins and I'm gonna hold until she backs up. And if I take the pressure away there, legs on just meant back up, okay? Now with her, I've actually taught her that legs on means lower her head. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and do that one first. So legs on, I wanna bring my legs on slowly. Her head went down, legs came off. So instead of her understanding that legs always mean go forward, what you could do is pepper in other meaning. So basically you don't release your legs until they lower their head or they back up. Something that is the opposite of reacting and going forward. That's the name of the game. Now she actually, this particular horse did have a bit of an issue with that. Her name is Sage. You guys have seen her in a lot of other videos. Um, she's a very sensitive horse. So it's very easy for her to start thinking legs being go just by doing some canter transitions, um, just different things where you put your leg on. It's easy for her to associate that with go and go fast. And so when I'm warming her up, I'll just pepper that in. I'll just put my legs on her and just challenge her to go, hey, can you think through this pressure? And could those legs mean head down or could those legs mean back up? So again, if I wanted it to mean back up, I'm gonna squeeze with my legs. She went forward, so I'll pick her up, back her up, and then release. Now, um, some of you guys watching are sitting here going, well, I don't want my horse to always put their head down or always back up when I put my legs on. And again, this is not like the first thing I would teach a colt or a green horse when I'm riding them, I would teach them that legs on means go. You can see I can very quickly ask her to go forward. But my life changed, my seat changed, I didn't just bring my legs on. When I wanted it to mean head down, I stayed hunkered down in the saddle, I squeezed with my legs slowly, and then I could mean drop her head. Now I could ride forward. Can you see how subtle that is? But she can understand, horses are extremely intelligent. And so um, we don't wanna insult their intelligence by saying, oh, they can only understand that it means one thing. Um, there's the other surrounding conditions. You know, you've heard riders talk about, boy, this horse likes to anticipate, you know, I, I just think stop and the horse stops or whatever. Um, horses are looking to take in all the different factors of the situation, what's happening, not just the deliberate cue you're putting on. So we gotta be mindful of what are things that we're doing in our body as preparatory cues before we give them the actual cue that we want. So, um, so again, if your horse gets reactive, leave your legs on there, wait for them to settle. Um, I'm going to give you one more example, and this example would be for a horse that's really reactive to your leg. Like really, really, they're a hot horse, they're nervous, and they're just whirling around. So let's say you put your legs on, you're riding around, and you, you're on this nervous horse that you put your leg on, and they just start going into a tailspin, right? What I'm going to do with that horse is I'm going to control them by doing a hindquarter yield, and I'm going to apply my leg, and I'm going to not release them when they move their feet. I'm going to release them when they stop moving their feet. So right now, my leg is still on, it's still on, it's still on, and I'm going to wait for her to start to do what I call wear the pressure, right there. She stopped, and she challenged that a little bit. She's like, do you really want me to move? And in my mind that time, the answer was no, don't move. So the secret is rewarding that horse's mental state. When she thought about stopping, that was the best time to release that pressure. Again, if you had a really, really reactive horse to your leg, release it when their feet get slower and they think about stopping, not when they're whirling around really fast, okay? So the other strategy there was the hindquarter yield. The hindquarter yield is a maneuver that a horse would only do if they're thinking about getting relaxed, not thinking about getting athletic, okay? So uh, that can be a, a good strategy, a good technique, a good position to put your horse in if they're reacting to your leg. So again, put your leg on, Ask them to yield around, hold, wait for them to have their feet slow down and get sticky, then take that pressure away. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you can understand and see the value of the timing of when you release that pressure. It makes all the difference in the world of are they gonna be reactive to it or are they gonna get to where they understand that pressure and can be more relaxed with it. So thank you guys for watching. Keep the, keep the questions coming from you Patreon members. I appreciate them. And uh, it's a lot of fun bringing these answers to you guys. So we'll see you guys on the next one.